you expect your own miracle. What do you expect? What will you be expecting? Here, there, and all over the world, wherever we are, wherever we are connected to this divine connection program, and through whichever means, get ready. The mighty power of God will touch you. The great God of heaven that did it for them is here. And his power knows no limitation, no boundary, no distance, no barrier of any kind. Wherever, whenever, the mighty power of God will touch you. And you will receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Quickly, we'll take the first testifier. Tell us your name and tell us where you come from, what the challenge was, and what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord! Praise, praise, praise the Lord! Every good John Friday, I touch in Papa GRM district, a group. I am here to give glory to God for what He has done for my family. And there is no better time to give God praise than this time for such a heartwarming blessing. For such a life appreciating testimony. I have been married, I and my wife got married here in this church by the grace of God in 2010, November 13. And we have been serving God. We have been working together and medically no issue except they will say time, no spend count and all of that. By the grace of God, I have privilege of meeting leaders in this church. I mean our daddy. I mean the man of God. Pastor the Bill of Kome. And I have a counter with him. First of all in Lagos and then here in Abuja. And so my wife, when she wants to get, you know, troubled, I said, Pastor have prayed. I said, Pastor have declared. And so I don't get worried. I don't get bothered. I just move on in serving God. I just move on with the work of God. I also have opportunity, aside the GS himself, other leaders has adopted us as their own, as their children. Uh, from Master to Vassia, Pastor Hassan, from Master to Vassia, Pastor Ensure, as if the GS have informed them to be checking on us. And that is how they continue to check on us. And so to the glory of God, on the 19th of this month, my wife put to bed a beautiful baby girl. And on Saturday, we named her Esther. We named her Miracle. Praiseworthy. We gave her testimony. And since then, she has been doing wonderfully well. Mommy is doing wonderfully well. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Put your hands together for Jesus. They have named her Miracle. Praiseworthy. Miracle. You will get your own miracle tonight. And your miracle will be praiseworthy. And uh, that means you must be ready to get up and step out. And come and give the praise to the Lord God who will give you the miracle. We will be grateful to God by showing our gratitude in testimony in Jesus' name. The next testifier now. Oh, 
Kenya they no plan work on crew Lagos. And only two photo OBA. Oh yeah, OBA. In came on go in came on go Oh well I can hear Oh I mean no one so joy aluma. No man would to nane. Oh do I get your gelum. Oh well uncle wa puna or it a lane. Nine moons. I get your gelum. Amen na no wa Bobua. No dear, I get your gelum. Oh well, I'm got a doom. No one was so big and um or so man of who was so big and okay what I know where it is now. I said, okay, police and dungeon. Oh, can you know when on your now in Meli and I Meli? What to go there where to do better no Baramoa? I know Kahini and Ne. Now let go for any leg or see your Kumotonu. Okay, get my mind again, walk out. Ego go your dinner. Hot on your hag, I bought your pot on your wagon. No, I bought your Anuma, I pequenia. O Kumoton, no gale. Okay, Lord Joker. I do bam. I will go book bam. I do bam, got a nuga maho. Police are guys, you go. Walk wow. Now in Gale Tolle. O Bob, you are Budalam. Insanity. She has been mad, very violent. She was living in Saudi Arabia. Then all of a sudden, they couldn't get her contact anymore. In the process, she was deported to Nigeria. Nobody could hear anything about her. When they started looking for her, they now told them that she was in Lagos. Everybody went out searching for her, and eventually they found her. Then, when they brought her to this place, took her to so many places there was no uh, healing and then she now said I will go to church but I will not go to any church except deeper life and if I go to deeper life I don't want to see any pastor except Pastor WF come Praise the Lord the most important thing here tonight is the connection then as they were wondering how to get to deeper life one of our sisters went to the market to buy food stuff from one of our uh, sisters in the church and the sister said i my own have finished go to so so place and when she got there to buy the food stuff they now told her about the problem praise the lord you see the connection and eventually it was that day they told us that our father in the lord was coming to abuja and i now went there i told them I told my group pastor, and he said I should take another pastor there. And before that time, even our woman coordinator that I used to go there, I have never seen her. And the only time she saw her, she closed her eyes throughout. Because she said, if not WF Kumui, she's not seen anybody. Praise the Lord. So when we went there with the other pastor that uh, our group pastor sent me with, we entered there already, she was seated. And that my pastor told her that, we are Kumuye's children. The power Kumuye has, he has transferred to all of us. Praise the Lord. At that point, I asked her of her name. I asked her of her name. She told me her name. I asked her whether she has eaten today. She said yes. Can you summarize, brother? Okay, I said sit well, she sat well. To cut every story short, since that time we have been going there, and she has been coming for this program. But 
on Sunday was our turn from Nyanya region to come here. I brought them very early in the morning, and in the evening, she was, they were here from here from morning till the evening. And at the end of the last amen on Sunday, I say IJ because her name is Joma. Can I have your bag? She started laughing. How will you be carrying my bag while I'm following you? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord has touched her. You can see her completely healed, sane, and sound in the mind. The healing is permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen! Whatever your challenge, whatever the gravity of it, the connecting power of our mighty God will do it for you tonight in Jesus' name. The next testifier. of God, my name is Sister Esther Sunday. I'm from Morozo region, Ability Group, Forward District. Praise the Lord by the grace of God and save. I want to thank God for how God helped me, how God rescued my family from poverty. For me and my husband, we have been trusting God for a job for a very long time. And the situation was so bad that the poverty was staring at our faces. All the places we tried to apply, nothing. And then eventually we were told that our father in the Lord was coming to Abuja. That was the night of extraordinary wonders. And for me and my husband, we trusted God. We waited on the Lord for one week before the program. And when we came to the program, we had faith that God would visit us. After the message, I just looked at my husband. I shook him. I said, congratulations for your new job. Do you know that after that program on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, they called my husband. Can you come for your appointment later? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And since then, God has transformed our lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. I also want to thank God for this divine connection. It happened on Saturday. I was on my way to the class. Immediately, my husband dropped me. I was rushing because rain was dropping that day. I was waiting to cross the road. A bike was coming. And as the bike was coming, he was just coming towards me. So I shifted back. I thought he wanted to pass. He didn't pass. He still was coming towards me. I, I shifted back again. The man was still following me. As I was trying to take the next step at my back, I didn't know there was a hole at the back. I just saw myself sinking down. I just shouted, Jesus. Immediately I shouted, Jesus. This, my leg just went down and stand straight. And this one was up. That's how I managed my step. I came out. Immediately I came out. I look at the hole. I look at my leg. I said, God, you are great. And this particular leg that was inside the hole, it was the leg that some years back I had this location. I spent one month without walking. I spent six months using crushes. I didn't even know that I can walk again. But that day, God delivered me. I came out from that hole, no pain, no, no scratch, nothing, nothing. I said, this is, the, this is the doing of the Lord. I said, yes, my father is in town. The devil, you cannot touch me again. This leg is for serving God. I will use it to serve God. You cannot touch me. I just want to thank God for how God has used our Father in the Lord to transform my life, both spiritually, in every aspect. I want to say thank you, sir. May God bless you. The only thing that remains for Amen. me is to get to heaven. And I will get there in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Transformation through connection. And you are connected tonight. You will be transformed. And God will deliver you from every evil in Jesus' name. Please be brief, sister. We want to take as many as possible. Tell us your name and what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Lola Abioye. I am from Progress Group in Progress District from Orozo region. My own um, divine connection happened during the first program of this kind in 2018. A month before the program, I had miscarriage and I had to go to a general hospital for evacuation. I didn't know that the evacuation was not properly done and my uterus was tampered with and my stomach had started getting rotting. So I was feeling pain a week to the uh, program. I had to go to the hospital and I was checked. It was discovered that the uh, stomach was filled with pus. So, the doctor said I had to go through surgery. I went for the sur first surgery. It's like it was not really working. And he said, well, 
we have to pass, uh, pass a uh, pipe through your nose, through your stomach, and the remaining pus was coming out, and I was smelling in the hall. For those that visited, they could testify to that. So I was there, and I was believing God. I was just claiming the promises of God that I shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord, and the Lord did it for me. During the program on a Saturday, I was still in the hospital bed because I spent a month in the hospital. So after the prayer, somebody called me that knew about my plight, called from Ogun State and said, Lola, Baba has mentioned your case that he said that sister in the hospital, you will not die in Jesus' name. And I said, Amen, and I claimed the promises. After that, I started discovering that I was healed and everything got healed totally. There was no complication after the two surgeries. So I give glory to the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We take just one more here for now and then we'll uh, round up the testimony time. We have some also on the internet. Praise the, the Lord. My name is Brasson de Benjamin. I came from a Rosary region for the ability group. The Lord saved me many years ago and by the grace of God, we are passing in the Lord. Praise the Lord. What brought me here tonight is that on uh, the other month, month of May, power night, I was seriously sick. I cannot move myself. And I was thinking, how will I go to uh, the program in the evening? I just uh, uh, discovered that if I don't go, if I don't stay, if I stay in the house, the sickness will not go. I managed myself. I went there. When the man of God was preaching, the, the symptom was so much in my system. I have decided, I said, when we finish tonight, tomorrow I'll go to the hospital. But all of a sudden, when the, the preaching was over, the man of God prayed and mentioned the name of Jesus Christ. I want to assure you, the sickness is departed away out of my system. Today I'm whole. I am whole because I'm connected. Pray the Lord. Connected, whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Just one from the media center. Let's quickly have one. We'll round up and we'll reserve the rest until later in the program. Testimonies from the media center. We have Sister Chinyere Izubi. She was having serious toothache, accompanied with terrible headache for about two weeks before the crusade. She had not entered to recommended washing of her teeth after the prayer of the man of God. During the prayer, she placed her hands on her cheek as instructed by the pastor. At the last amen, the pains vanished away until today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord is working at the center of the ministration and in various places all over the world. And if you are there connected, get connected by faith. Get connected through the uh, indispensable connector, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you will receive your miracle also in Jesus' name. A bigger amen, a louder amen. We have a wonderful rendering of the sevenfold choir tonight. A sevenfold choir. And uh, 